we're recording on a Zoom, and then it takes me a second to just double check that it comes up on Facebook. So just give me one moment. Mm -hmm. All right, we are live. Thank you, Christina, for joining me today. Hello, everyone. I have this beautiful lady with me here today, Christina, who I have had the absolute honor and pleasure of supporting her in many different capacities over the last six months. Private coaching, she was in my group prosperity course and then joined us on the retreat for Hawaii. And she is here just to share a little bit about her experience. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh, thank you. So Christina is a, she hosts retreats. She's a coach. She's an amazing coach, an amazing woman all around. So when I get to co-create with somebody like this, it really gets me excited and really lights me up because we speak the same language and we love what we do. And it's just been so much fun to serve you and to share the space with you. Can you share a little bit about where you were six months ago before we started working together and what encouraged you to step into coaching with me? Yeah, absolutely. So I remember I reached out to you because I was hosting a retreat and I found out that you were, that you did that and you just so willingly just we're like, yeah, like let's hop on a call and totally like no strings attached. And just like, when I heard you speak, it was just all of these things that had been, you know, just like in my periphery and, and also things that I wanted to know more about. And so when I heard you speaking, I was like, oh, I was like, this is my person. I was like, this is who I'm supposed to be working with next. And then I, I think I reached out to you and I just said, I want to work with you um, just because I loved so much of what you were speaking about. And we just seemed so aligned in terms of things that, you know, just the way that we view the world, the way that we view inner work, coaching, all of those things. And specifically in that moment, like where I was about like six months ago or whenever we, you know, connected, I was, um, I was in a space where I had a lot of like ambition for like what I wanted to, to really embody and what I wanted to create but there were still things that were just like holding me back really. And so if I were to like, look back at what those things were, it was really just, you know, underlying beliefs on, you know, just do like, what can I create? Do I have anything important to say? And like, is anybody going to, to listen? Like, and I think there was, there's also a piece of just, you know, like, oh, are everybody already knows these things? Um, just, you know, just like those, those beliefs that kind of get stuck in your head. So that was definitely like underneath of it. It's so like that whole idea of like, you know, just not being enough or not being, you know, skilled enough, having enough information, you know, whatever, whatever else was associated with it. And so really, and this is what I love so much about coaching is that a coach doesn't just like hold space. They literally, they'll hold the space, but they also take you to the other side. So, um, and I had said, you know, so beautifully that you just have this really amazing way of holding the space while also not entertaining the story that ha that's rooted in limiting beliefs. And so for me, that was definitely this like learned helplessness um, in terms of just, okay, I have this idea, but like here are all of the excuses, right? And I remember you, like one of the things that like you just say all the time, it's like, it's not too much money. It's just like out of alignment or you just need to figure out a way to, you know, make it work or you're not busy. You know, it's just like, how do you create the time? How do you create the energy or is it just not in alignment? Um, and so I just so loved that, you know, mindset that I've really adopted and just like um, made into my own. Um, but coming back to what I was saying, you know, there was just this when I would, you know, speak and like, there'd be all of like the excuses or the reasons why I couldn't. 
then you know you would hold the space but then also like the next question or the guidance would be you know just like proactive and like action steps that were aligned and that were doable and so you know that that like victimization that I was stuck in, you know, you weren't negatively like judging me or criticizing me for it. You were just helping me, you know, it was kind of like you had my hand, you're like, okay, come on, we're on, we're coming over here. We're coming over here. And then just guiding me, you know, to that other side. And then I'd be like, oh, okay. Like, this is what I need to do. And I mean, you know, you know, so well that so many people that we get stuck in our stories and that's where we're just like, blah, 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 blah. And then we're like, nope, but there, there is an answer. There is an answer if you just kind of either have the guidance or you're able to just like kind of stop and sit with yourself and be like, okay, stop. What's next? And that you just did that so beautifully. And I like didn't feel um, like judged about it. I just felt very nourished, nurtured, supported, all of those things. And very thank loved. you. Oh, thank you. So what I'm hearing you say is that you were in a place of doubt. And really just asking yourself, like, is, am I creative? Is what I have to say important? Am I good at what I do? Like, is this, there were, you were, there's a lot of like asking questions, you know, based on other things people say or experiences you're having on like, am I enough kind of was the, the overall umbrella that I heard you say. And then through that process, what I love so much about what I do is I feel like what I'm doing is helping you see the truth of who you are. And mm. so you call it, I'm guiding you through that process. And through that process, what you have learned, what you've shared is you're more confident. You actually have noticed that you are creative. You started noticing. And it was interesting because I started hearing it from other people, like you're a very beautiful writer and that you have all these things actually to offer. And, and the way that you show up and do hold the space what would you say was the biggest shift coming through on the other side? What are you taking away? One or two things you're taking away from that experience. Yeah. And just to add a little bit to what you said, like you were definitely a really good mirror for me. And so there's definitely elements of just like needing to see my own truth reflected back to me. And so for like those of us that do have, you know, just like beliefs about like not enoughness or unworthiness, whatever it is, you know, sometimes we do need, you know, that support from another person to just help us see where the, that story, it's like old and tired and not true and like what our truth actually is. And so that honestly, I would say that was probably one of the biggest things. Um, and really just, I would say that, like that tied into just like that sovereignty, which is one of your big words. And I love that word because it's, you know, it's a word that we don't really use. It's not like a super common word, but we all know what it means. But just, you know, stepping into like that sovereignty as a person, which happens when you're able to like reinstate your sense of self, which helps you, you know, just feel empowered to, you know, speak your truth, to, you know, follow out with actions and to like take control of your life and be like, okay this is what I want to do, like what's next. So I would say that was definitely, um, that definitely happened on a lot of different sessions that we did. Um, and there, you know, I think there's just like, obviously like this ebb and flow of just, or, you know, expansion and contraction and regarding like, you know, just something that you're working through, like whether it's a belief about um, unworthiness where it's like you, you release it, then it kind of comes back. So then you just keep releasing it more and more. So that definitely happened on more than one occasion. Um, and I believe you asked the next question was what was like my biggest takeaways from yeah. working with you? Yeah. Oh man. That is, you always know how to ask the hard questions, Jen, because you know? <laughs> there's, there's definitely so many. Um, and so, I mean, really just this, and then like, when I see you, I just see you as like someone who just like stands in your ability to create life on your own terms. And so, and that's like something that I so very much, you know, just enjoy. And also, you know, I, I got into coaching like two years ago and I really didn't see it as like a profession. And then I met you and you're like, I've been coaching for like 15, 20 years. And I'm like, oh, like this is an actual, like, I, I was like, oh, I can do this for a while. It's sustainable. Um, and so I, but I was also able to just like, see like, you know, you and I both love to travel. And so it's, it looks different for both of us. And you have like, you know, your family and you have your home and whatnot, but I was able to see that you were like, so aligned with like what you wanted in life, what 
brings you joy and you made it happen. And it's just like, mm-hmm. this is what I created for myself, like time freedom. Um, and just like, and also like the cyclical living, like you're very attuned to, you know, like the seasons, but also like feminine cycles, which is super, super important. So like, I loved seeing how you set up your life, which also it's that invitation for me to like, not mimic what you do, but to be like, it's possible, but like, what, what do I want to do? Cause like, yeah. like, where do I want to be? How do I want to be traveling? What do I want? my own life to look like. And so, um, one thing that I heard, actually, I think I heard it on your podcast. I can't remember which one, but it was talking about how like the best coach is somebody is who's a version of you. Um, and so I definitely see that, like, I am a version of you just like, you know, you're further along on your path in certain regards. Um, and so that's where, you know, again, it's not to like mimic it. It's just to be like, okay, like it's possible. So I just, so see you as like, just like this figure of, um, like autonomy, sovereignty, abundance, and then but also like very radiant and feminine. And um, I think I called you like Pachamama, you know, just <laughs> yeah. on the retreat. But it's true because you gathered all these amazing women together and you supported them while also, and I saw this, it was so beautiful, like not letting them get stuck in their story, get stuck in, you know, their, that narrative that just like, just like the past narrative of like all this stuff that's just no longer true. It doesn't need to be true anymore. Um, so yeah, so I definitely like have that, like, oh, like I, uh, like, I guess just when I like look at society and culture, I'm like breaking away from it. Cause I worked like a pretty traditional job. So like, I kind of started like this, you know, my breaking away from it and like looking at like, well, is this possible? Like what, like, am I allowed to want to do these things? Like, how will I make it work? And then you, know, you came along and I'm like, oh yeah. I got this. Like, I just need to figure it out and like, make sure that it's aligned with what I want. So yeah, I love that. So I'm hearing the confidence and the empowerment to create the life you want and that it gets to look like whatever you want it to look like and to align with what's important to you. Yeah. So the last question I have for you is together, we did private coaching. You did the group prosperity course and you came to the retreat Mm -hmm. and what would you say was one benefit from each of those? Because I know people are like, not everybody can do all of those or it doesn't align with their, you know, where they are right now. So what is one, and there is like a different takeaway from private coaching. And there's also a lot of power in being in tribe and community with other women. What would you say is one benefit from private coaching, the group program and the retreat. Absolutely. So just like, so obviously with the one-on-one coaching, it's going to be just that individual attention. And so like it's, and I, I also do group programs. So group programs are so beneficial, but I definitely needed like that one-on-one support. And I just felt very, very supported by you. And I just was able to just work through a lot of like the nooks and crannies of my own like limiting beliefs that I was still holding on to. So who um, would you say that would be for? Oh, um, I guess like someone who's just still feeling stuck and it's just like the, you know, the, it's hard because I think that like some people have resistance in group settings and that's where they need to go into the resistance because they're because they're like they don't want to be vulnerable but for me like I have done um group programs before and so like the the vulnerability like I don't have a problem with but I definitely was just like I need one-on-one support because that's just where I was in my life and I think that's also important for like people to also just like understand in terms of you know can you can you tell the difference between like resistance and alignment you know, so I, I, that's a, it's a very coach, like non, it's a very like non answer answer. Um, cause yeah. I definitely think it's, you know, depends. just cause you're feeling resistance doesn't mean that's not the path sometimes. And oftentimes it is the way. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then what would you say about group coaching? Like, what was the benefit in that? I think you kind of just said it, um, that, you know, that there is, and then who, who would that be more for? Yeah. So I would say for group coaching, I would say the the word that's coming through is clarity because there's limited time and there's limited space 
And so you, we like, so one thing that Jen does uh, for everybody listening, like when you have, when you're on a group program is there's a question, like a group discussion question, and there's time given in the beginning to get clarity. So like writing it down um, so that that way, when you speak and you only have, you have a few minutes to speak, which is ample, I shouldn't say only, but it's ample time to speak. But at, before you even go into that, you get to write it down and really just like tune into like, what's the question and like, digging into that introspective work in a very concise way that again doesn't go into like the whole story and details that aren't that important um and so like I would say that for sure because it's like okay like I have to share in this amount of time like let's get all the bs away let's clear all that out so I can actually share like the meat of it um and then also you, you just get to hear other people share and like just, you know, you get your own truth reflected back to you, your own limitations reflected back to you, and also just like support strategies, things that work for other people. So like, you know, the group session is super, super amazing. Um, and so I don't, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just going to have to say, I don't know if I can answer like, who is that for? <laughs> but yeah. I'm allowed to not answer that just because I kind of think it's for like, yeah, it's kind of for everyone. I think group coaching and individual coaching is for everyone. I think it just depends on where you're at, like yeah. what you need at the time. Well, and that's why if you're private coaching with me, like you just get to join whatever group is ongoing at that time, which is what you did, because I do think that there is such a good balance between the two. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. that's why I, I offer that. And if that's just included. And then how about the retreat? I was so grateful that you came to the retreat. It's you know how ha- I was just so happy I got to meet you in person because you live in Philly and I'm in Florida and yeah. that was the only way for us to meet in person. Um, what would you say was your biggest takeaway from the retreat? The first word that comes up is embodied trust, which is one of your beautiful words. Uh, and it like really what that is, is um, so I did have resistance about going to the retreat because I travel so much and I actually travel alone. So I, it's actually, um, for me to travel with somebody else, that definitely is not my normal go-to. And so I was kind of like, oh, like if I'm spending like all this money, like do like, couldn't I just like do something like by myself? And then I was like, here's the resistance. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, we're going to like lean into this because it's an opportunity to do more healing work, inner work. And then I really get to, you know, like meet you and have even more time in this like really sacred space. And so um, the reason why embodied trust comes up is just because I was like, okay, like, and you know, I remember you asked me like, well, how does it feel? And it's like, close your eyes. Okay. Like, how does this choice feel? And it felt good. Like, okay, I'm going with it. Everything will work out. And um, even just like the money for the trip, it just came through magically. Unexpected. <laughs> and your sister having a baby, like there was a lot happening oh, yeah. in your life. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. So um, yeah, like my sister was like due and she like, she had the baby like four days before I left. And, you know, so obviously I was very, like, that was also trust. I'm like, nope, like she's going to have the baby before I leave for Hawaii. Um, so yeah, like so many things, but then beyond that embodied trust was just, I mean, it was such a beautiful experience. Um, as I mentioned, like Jen and I are very, very similar in terms of like, like when, what you put out in terms of like a retreat, like that, like the logistical aspect, like the food, like the schedule, like all of that, like that is just like, it's, that's like my jam. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, we're wavelength. And like, we are so attuned to like what we want to retreat to look like, to feel like, and it was so beautiful. Like I had such an amazing time, um, you know, between, and also just like the people that you have in your life that you're also supporting, like the other women that came were just super amazing. And we all just brought our own different flavor to the group. And I felt just, I felt like there was a really, I had more perspective of like what it means to be feminine. And I think like that's something that a lot of men in my life have like kind of nitpicked and maybe, you know, not necessarily. So sometimes some of them didn't support. And then some of them were kind of like, you're doing it wrong. And I'm just like, what am I doing? And then Jen's like, no, 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 no. Like you are very feminine and like all these things. And I was able to see it because I was also able to see how these other women were very feminine in their own way, in their own unique way. And then we also uh, went into archetypes and I got to be like, oh, all this is feminine. You know what? again, I get to come back and where to be like, what am I aligned with? What feels good to me? Um, so yeah, so amazing retreat. Hawaii was beautiful. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of that because it was insane. So insane. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, 
just in closing, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for the entire six month journey. And what would you say you're in the world of coaching and you host retreats and you've had other coaches, what would you say? I believe like when a student is ready, the teacher appears. I know I'm not for everyone. There's a specific you know, person that I love to work with. And when it's meant to be it, we really co-create and it's, it, it feels aligned and it feels super awesome. Um, what would you say is different about working with me? Like what, what is my unique kind of, because like, I don't, you know, I don't clearly always see it. So what would you say is kind of like what makes it different in other coaches that you've been around and just how I create space? Yeah. I mean, from like that feminine perspective, like you definitely like teach a lot about, you know, like how can you ebb and flow with your own cycles, um, which I really enjoyed like learning about. Uh, and then also just like really like that element of, you know, that, that balance of holding space for the pain while also, and so it's like, you're, you're validating it, but then you're also like empowering somebody to get on the other side of it, which is, um, super, super important. So like, I would say sometimes in coaching, like, and I mean, we're humans, right? So like, sometimes there's projecting where we're just like projecting our own truth uh, and ex life experience onto somebody else. And sometimes that's accurate. Sometimes it's not, but I would say like, just like definitely working with you that didn't, like you were always very question driven where you weren't like making the assumptions about mm -hmm. my experience or like what I felt. You were like, what do you feel? What do you believe? What's under that? So it was very just, you were just using those, um, and really good coaching is using those really aligned questions to take you to the, to the next um, level. So yeah, I would say like, those are the things that stand out, you know, just like the most, thank but I mean, you. so many other things. So many I'm other receiving things. that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm, thank you for all of that. I'm receiving it. And feels very nice coming from a person who also works in that space. And so, you know, the value of that and, and you know, that, you know, you know, also that it's not always easy. Yeah. No, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, and, you know, we just get to practice, but I really appreciate you coming on here and sharing and um, just being a part of the journey and yeah, just showing up in the way that you did. So thank you so much for sharing. Is there any other little nugget of wisdom you'd like to share? Or are you like, I'm done, I'm complete? <laughs> oh, I mean, there's so much. There, there really is, because you just, you bring so much to the table and you have so much to offer. Um, and what I would you say to the person who's on the fence right now? It's, yeah, I just, I think like the last thing that's coming through is just like, I so love how you really honor like what you you need and like encourage me to like do the mm -hmm. same because there and you're kind of like that anti um like boss girl culture where you're not <laughs> like oh like you know just be like a domestic housewife and like don't do anything you're anti like hustle which is so I mean it's like an epidemic whatever you want to call right. it culture and so I just so love that you're like you like you're you're a boss in your own way but you're so like you have that blended balance of like being a little like you're woo in your own way <laughs> and you're also very much like okay but like what's practical and also like take care of your like nourish your body with rest and with food and like all of these things so it's I think it's a really really amazing balance um but yeah so many things so many things thank you that so yeah thank you all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody for listening in. And of course, if you have any questions, send me a message and thank you for sharing with us, Christina. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's stop.